What is going on guys, Kevin Clutch here, and uh, today I am back, finally after a few days again, I'm sorry about that, I just, I don't know, I haven't really been feeling like uploading, but I'll probably get back into that now, I was, I've was i been playing a lot of Call of Duty in the past few days, getting some gameplays, but I'm kind of upset that theater mode failed me, but at the same time I guess it's my fault that I just kind of depended on theater mode, even though theater mode is supposed to record stuff, I guess I should have recorded myself uh, in the first place but this is spec ops on negotiator i really did have a really long gameplay that i would have used for this video but i didn't have any gameplays and i really didn't have much time to record anything so i just got this played this really quickly and uh so watch that i'm gonna get into what i want to talk about and uh first of all uh i know hutch left and i didn't really want to make a video about it in the first place because everyone else was but i thought i might as well just mention it right now uh like a lot of people, I think that he really hasn't been involved in the community in a while. And what he said exactly was he wasn't even going to play video games. He was going to kind of just forget about this whole thing. He quit Machinima, quit YouTube, and now he's not going to do anything, even Twitter. Which, uh, I guess, I remember at one point he said he had an addiction of Twi like with Twitter and everything. But, you know, I watched Hutch back when... Uh, he first started, not when he first started, but back during Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I guess he'll be missed, but whatever he does, uh, good luck to him. But I want to talk about today, other, other than that, I just wanted to mention that, get my two cents about it. I want to talk about the blackout that supposedly is going to happen, uh, or what some people want to happen. Which some people want to happen, does that make sense? <laughs> some Something that a lot of people want to happen <coughs> is this blackout that's been planned on April 20th, so not next Friday, but the Friday afterwards. Uh, and what it would do is just kind of what it sounds like. Everyone would just go, or as many people as they could get, and not play Modern Warfare 3 for the whole day, for a whole 24 hours. Uh, I probably won't play it anyway, but to the people that play Modern Warfare 3 and will have a hard time not playing it that Friday, well, good luck to you, but... Like I said, I, I don't really play it much. I play a lot of other games right now, and especially Modern Warfare 2. Like, I just want to play other games. I want to beat campaigns. Like, right now is my spring break, so uh, what I'm going to try to do this week, uh, besides others, like, going outside and everything, like normally what you would do in the spring, I'm going to try to beat most of the games I bought on Steam, because I bought a lot of them, never beat them, but I want to try to beat them. But as for the Blackout, I don't think it'll do anything. And I've heard this a lot, uh, between like from a lot of people, and a lot of people talked about this blackout many times, and uh, they all have the same opinion basically that it's not going to do anything because it's not like Activision's going to be losing money or anything. I mean, they they're losing money anyway because as long as the servers are up, they're losing money. But it's not like they're making any more money if they have a lot of traffic. I mean, if maybe they'll like it, maybe it'll be like. Maybe they want to see a lot of people on their game every night, but as far as them making money, it's not like they put ads up on the servers and they're making money off of ads or anything. They're running anyway, uh, but I guess maybe some some developers, if they actually do care about the game, they'll be worried that no one's playing it. I, I, I guess I, I could see maybe some developers. I don't really know if that'll be what the quality developers will be doing. But I could just picture some guys that are just sitting there looking at their computer screens and they just look up at the chart of all the, the traffic and right at midnight on April 20th it just drops down and they're freaking out and they're calling all their supervisors and everything. It's going to be pretty crazy for them. But what they really have to do, what I think everyone has to do to, uh, to kind of just get Activision to, I guess, worry and d make some changes is they're going to have to... Get them where it hurts, right in the pocketbook, right in the wallet, uh, right in their bank accounts. Just don't buy their next game. Make them make them worried because, you know, they spend a lot of money making these games. And if, if they find out maybe that no one wants to pre-order it, they'll freak out. And that's what's going to make them want to make some change. Because right when they start uh, releasing pre-orders, like right after E3, that's when they're going to be trying to see how much money they're going to be making. Kind of judge based on previous years how many people are going to be buying the game. And I guess I'll I'll still be buying Black Ops 2, but maybe if uh, someone decides to, in the community, someone decides to just go like, 
that's it, guys. We're going to not pre-order Black Ops 2. That's fine. It's it's not like I have to pre-order it or else I'm not going to get the game. But, uh, yeah, that's really it, guys. That's my two cents. Uh, I guess there's some more I could talk about this, but really my final thought is that, that like, Activision's not going to care if you just don't play on their servers for one day because they know, and if they're watching YouTube or they just hear about it, they'll know that we're going to be coming back the next day. But that's really it, guys. Uh, kind of a black screen here. I'll probably put, like, a some picture up or something. I don't know. But uh, rate the video if you enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter. Link's in the description. And, yeah, any questions, comments, or anything, leave them in the comments. I'd love to read your comments. And uh, subscribe if I didn't say that. Uh, bye.